Hello guys, Crispy here and welcome back to another video. It is one, my friends. I'm going to be testing the GeForce RTX 3060 Ti in Ghostwire Tokyo. This one is the Founder's Edition model of the card. We're not overclocking it manually, as you can see right here. We're, of course, using the latest NVIDIA drivers at the time of recording this video, which are 5.11.79. You can check out all of the GPU specs in Tech Power Up's GPU-Z. So the 8 gigabytes of GDDR6, for example, and the 4864 shaders or CUDA cores. And over on the left, we're pairing it with a Ryzen 9 5900X and 32 gigabytes of RAM to achieve the most out of this GPU. So let's get right into the game, shall we? Okay, let's go over the settings. We're playing at 1080p resolution and we're also going to test this one at 1440p and 4K resolutions. And uh, we're using like the high settings without motion blur here and no ray tracing. We're going to test that out a little bit later in the video as well as DLSS. Uh, but yeah, th there are not many settings, unfortunately, as you can see. See this, yeah, very poor menu here. Okay, I'm actually playing this one with a controller because they, they recommend it here for this game, which is kind of weird because it's a first-person game. So I'm sorry about some bad movement. I am not used to playing games with controllers, especially not first-person shooters. It's not really a first-person shooter. Uh, all right, we're, we're not dead. That's, that's great. Okay, so at 1080p resolution, if you're not using some ray tracing in this game, you still get pretty good uh, reflections sometimes not these these are pretty bad <laughs> yeah uh, like in the ground there those look pretty damn good and detailed honestly um but i mean ray tracing should look incredible in this game i haven't tested it yet i've been playing this with the 3080 ti for a bit uh, but I haven't tested ray tracing. I did test DLSS. I know that DLSS works really well here. But yeah, at 1080p resolution, guys, this is just not intensive for a 3060 Ti. I, I, I really thought we'd get less FPS than these. We're getting really high frames. It's a high refresh rate experience here. And honestly, you don't really need a high refresh rate experience in a game like this one. Every time I destroy these things, there is a little tiny stutter, which is weird. Like, well, that's, well not not now because I am trying to show it to you but yeah sometimes as you saw previously there is a bit of a stutter um, and even when you're not doing anything those can show up as well so it's a bit annoying not very nice optimization coming from the developers I guess uh, but hey, the game is completely playable. Oof, that was really bad, actually. Uh, VRAM is under control as well as RAM, so there is no problem there. It's not a lack of VRAM causing the stuttering issues. It's just how the game runs, I guess. Not very good, hey. Um, also, we can... Oh, that's cute. Hello, Jack. How's it going? Oh, oh, I can pet him. Oh, there it is. Oh, and we got an achievement for that. Beautiful stuff. This is also installed on an SSD, by the way, so that's not a problem either. Like, slow storage, you know. Uh, but yeah, basically, at 1080p, you can expect a high refresh rate experience, which, again, I don't think you do need in a game like this. 163 FPS on average and almost 69 1% lows. It's pretty all right, I would say. This it's really good. <laughs> so let's try out some uh, DLSS here just to see the quality of it at the 1080p resolution first. I mean, you don't really need to enable it, of course. You're probably going to get CPU bound if you do so, as we are right now. Uh, but yeah, if you want to enable some DLSS, as you can see, it does look pretty good still. It might look a tiny bit softer. And there is some weirdness going on here, some pretty high amounts of noise, as you can tell, I think. Uh, it's probably because of the water droplets from the rain, I guess, uh, coupled with DLSS. They just don't look very detailed and it looks like noise. I think it's because of DLSS, actually, but uh, let's, let's try to disable it to make sure. Okay, so turn that off, accept, and uh, yeah, it still looks a bit noisy. Yeah, never mind. It looks pretty much the same, guys. The, the water droplets there at 1080p they just look like noise at 4k they look really detailed and beautiful but at 1080p is just a bit of noise you know <laughs> what about amd's fsr on ultra quality will it still look pretty noisy yeah it's pretty much the same thing guys actually we get a bit more noise here with fsr but that's normal uh, because they, it works differently from the LSS. And we also get pretty much the same FPS because, well, we're CPU bound at this point. What about TSR? This is like the, the upscaling from the game, I think. And oof. Yeah, this one is by far the noisiest of all. Yep, okay. 
I mean, it still looks decent, don't get me wrong, but I, I would probably choose the LSS or, or nothing at all, actually, at 1080p resolution. There's no need for you to use upscaling with a 3060 Ti in this game at 1080p. 2560 by 1440 resolution now, using the same settings here. Didn't change anything, just disabled any upscaling for now. And uh, it seems like we're still above 100 frames per second, which is incredible. <laughs> and now the water droplets don't really look like noise anymore they do look like water droplets i can tell you that yes uh, this looks way better than at 1080p i really think that 1440p is the adequate resolution for a 3060 ti but considering that we're getting 100 plus so far at this resolution um i mean 4k might be very playable here with this gpu that's that's just amazing the game also looks pretty good although it's pretty simple in terms of controls and stuff like that you know, at least so far it has been. Yeah, frame time graph could be way better, guys. I'm gonna tell you that. Hmm. I don't like that too much, but hey, you can still play it. Absolutely. God damn it. Oh, no, no, go back. Okay, thank you very much. I'm almost dead. I'm, I'm playing alone and I'm almost dead. Ah, oh, what a shame. Anyways, what should we do here? Go to the objective, probably. Yes, that's a good idea. Uh, hi, Jack, again. How's it going? Gonna pet him. Yes, do not forget to do that, guys. Oh, there's a dog as well. Look at that. Hi. How did it go? Oh, boy. I'm dying. I'm di It's not time. God. No. Assumable. Come on, buddy. Just stop petting the dog. Textures on it aren't really that great, by the way. We just died. I have no idea what killed me. The dog is still standing there. And we got to restart the counting system because FPS went to hell there. Anyways, let's just not pet any more dogs. You know, petting jacks or cats is fine. Petting dogs is not fine here in this game, apparently. Let's try to play the objective a little bit here. Th these streets are beautiful. I bet ray tracing will look really great. Oh boy. Okay, we got bad guy here. Bad guy. Okay, I'm fighting. Let's go. Yes, we got this. Any more of you? Maybe not. Yeah, I don't think so. Not a little stutter there. Those can become quite annoying, guys. If you look for them and if you're sensitive for, to, to stuttering issues, yeah, you're probably not going to have a very good time in this one, unfortunately. But it is still not the final release version. But I guess, well, we're only a couple of days from it, so it won't really change that much, if at all, I think. Oh, we gotta attack this tree-looking thing right there. Absorb spirit. Let's go. There it is. Beautiful. And now we got access to more spirits, of course. Let's absorb more spirits. And now we got access to... Nothing. Oh, oh, this. This trash. Yes. Trash is awesome. All right, I can't really pick any of that up. All right. Okay, now we can grab the, the cores. Perfect. Yeah, see that, guys? I am... Oh, boy, what is happening now? <laughs> I'm good at this game. I, I don't. I'm, I don't understand what's happening now. Um, maybe we can't go here. Okay. Yes, that's just a foggy area. We we can't really go to the fog. Uh, that's that's a Slenderman right there, I guess. Oh, m many of them actually. Look at that. So your FPS are dropping in this little street. Oh boy. No no no. That's uh. Okay. Oh. Sh what the hell is that, by the way? Yeah, I just went to this. Thank you. Oh, stop. Walk away from me, Slenderman. I don't like you. Thank you very much. This is not scary, right? I mean, game, ghosts and stuff. I, I thought this was going to be pretty scary, but it, it really isn't, in my opinion. There we go. We got this. So this is perfectly playable at the 1440p resolution, of course. Um, and let's apply some quality DLSS. Does it look better or worse? Wait a second. Let's 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 take a look at, like, that brick wall right there. You can clearly see the details right there with quality DLSS enabled. Basically, what quality DLSS will do here at 1440p is get you the same FPS as we saw at 1080p, I guess. Uh, and now let's disable that just for a visual comparison here. You can still see the brickwork. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty much the same thing, isn't it? Look at that. Yeah, that kind of starts disappearing here, and it's a little bit fuzzy there. Oh boy, wait a second, wait a sec- Ooh, what the hell is happening here? Why are all the lights uh, red uh, right now? Oh, no, no, get away from me, get away, please. 
Please, I will punch you. Yes. See that? You don't want that. By the way, I don't really like to punch children. <laughs> but sometimes you need to in this game, apparently. But yeah, look at that. That's pretty weird when it disappears. Uh, those things there are also kind of fuzzy. It's probably because of the rain, though. Let's re-enable the LSS now and see. Okay. Oh, wait. Look at that. Those things don't don't disappear anymore. At least from this distance. Look at that. That's pretty impressive. Okay, so they, they only start disappearing from this distance instead of this distance right here. So I guess there is a little bit more detail with the LSS, maybe. I can't really tell too much or too well. Let's see the water droplets. Yeah, you can still see them here, but they're now they're moving because it's actually raining. That's that's attention to detail, actually. Pretty nice. Okay, let's just get this one. All right, let's start counting the FPS as well. So instead of dropping into the 90s here in this street, we are now only dropping into like the 120s, which is amazing, of course. Let's go grab the spirit. Oh, yeah. Ooh, let's go to the cinemas. Tokyo cinemas right here. Oh, wait a second. First of all, let's get rid of this. Uh, okay, that's... Yeah, don't, I don't really know any of these movies. Where is Batman? I want to watch some Batman. Actually, I've already seen it. It's pretty good, guys. Go watch it if you haven't already. Yeah, sometimes we get CPU bound like this using the LSS. GPU usage is not really maxed out, by the way. Uh, can we destroy these? Yes, we can. Get okay, that one and... Oh, okay. <laughs> Only one shot. Great stuff. And we unlocked... It. No, we didn't. We didn't unlock this part. Okay, never mind. Well, I guess that's it. 40, 1440p resolution as well. 150 FPS average. 69, 1% low is pretty much the same thing as we've seen at 1080p once again. At 1080p, the averages were just slightly higher. We're now at 4K resolution using the same highest settings, basically, aside from ray tracing. The LSS is turned off, so this is native resolution. And okay, okay, at 4K, you do drop from 60 frames per second. But it is still pretty playable, not gonna lie. There just seems to be a little bit of mouse acceleration at these lower uh, frame rates. Like, a little bit of input lag, maybe. Not mouse acceleration, I'm not even playing with a mouse. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's input lag. Oh my god, look at the frame time graph every time I do this. If I keep doing this, it just drops more and more. That's pretty weird. Or maybe it's just vegetation. Yeah, I guess it is. I, oh, hello, Rex. How's it going, buddy? Very beautiful pets in this one. This is nice. I mean, I wish the textures were a little bit better in a lot of the things here. Okay, so inside, you get pretty much the same FPS, interestingly. Yeah, not too much of a difference in different areas of this game, guys. Ooh, buy? Seriously? This is like an apocalypse, basically, and I have to buy things? Oh, come on, mate. You, just, you should just break this and take it, you know? God damn it. Nobody's gonna get you for that, I think. Side mission started. Oh my god. Every time you look in this direction, for no good reason, it just goes to hell. Looking at that direction, all good. Looking in this direction, all good again. I don't, I don't understand. Okay, so I stopped it there, and maybe using DLSS... We'll save the 3060 Ti here at 4K. Oh, yes. We went from 50 to 75. That's a 50% improvement in frames. That's great. Oh, we can't really absorb any more spirits. That's bad. Think, come over here. I want to go up there. Please, boy spirit, I'm bored. <laughs> uh, how do I get out of here, by the way? Um, this is bad. Oh, okay, okay, I can jump really high. So I earned 149 bucks from this, I think. And that's pretty much the same as an energy drink. So you just, you save people to buy energy drinks in this game, basically. Can I buy these? No, I can't. Not operational. And look at this, guys. There, there are flying cats in this game as well. So you, you got it all in this one. Aside from people. Yeah, you, you don't have people in this game. So maybe this is actually the perfect world. I, I don't know. <laughs> all right. Uh, let's move in that direction. Now. You know what? We should try out other settings here, other DLSS settings. So let's go with balanced DLSS. See how it performs. Pretty similar, actually. Not much changed. We're back here, by the way. Oh, yes, we can see. 
these things once again from here. Let's see how or when they disappear. Oh, yeah, at 4K. I guess that has to do with the aliasing, probably. Yeah, 4K with balanced DLSS has a much higher definition, as you can clearly tell. <laughs> Oh my god, yeah, at 4K it's just too inconsistent, guys. And then you come across these bushy areas, which are the most intensive and or broken things, I guess, in the game. Yeah, it's just not very good, is it, guys? Look at this. Ah, that's terrible. Alright, performance DLSS surprisingly gets rid of those horrible FPS drops. Maybe that has something to do with the VRAM? Probably not. It's it's consuming pretty much the same amount of VRAM as the higher settings. So this is the objective. This is probably going to be a pretty intensive area because of the the uh, vegetation around here. Yeah, dropping into the 80s. Not too bad. Come on. If you're playing at 4K, I really recommend you to use the performance DLSS setting. It's going to give you a much smoother experience, although not perfect. Far from perfect. The frame time is, is terrible. I feel like I'm robbing everybody's lunch or something. Ooh, ooh, that's weird. Okay, that, that's a weird face. What are you doing? Nope, 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 nope. Stop spreading COVID here. Oh, boy. No, 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 no. Stop, Slenderman. These look like they are... The nurse is from Silent Hill, I think. Yep. Alright, let's just... Oh my gosh, this guy throws objects. Okay. At least we're playing on easy, so this is pretty easy. Of course. <laughs> Thankfully. Wait. Let me grab the core. Another one. And nurse, get over here. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, so we're back to 1080p high settings using ray tracing now. And these are the ray tracing settings that we're utilizing. High over here and here. And the shadows, which I don't really care too much about, are set to medium. I think the reflections are the most beautiful things about the ray tracing technology. So that's why I, I chose these settings here. Start counting our FPS. And as you can see, this is a huge drop in performance compared to no ray tracing in this one so you lose like a hundred frames per second which is insane that's just a big big drop of course you got the option to use some DLSS here which will save the 3060 Ti I mean it is still playable though can we, can we actually melee this guy wait no the melee just takes forever to reload I guess like you can't really do it very often yeah come on come on there we go Beautiful. Also, VRAM usage is way higher than without ray tracing. RT uses a ton of VRAM as well. Yeah, this is this is way worse, guys. Uh, the frame time graph also is a little bit all over the place. I don't like that too much. Yeah, I think it's similar to the 4K experience. It's it's still playable. Don't get me wrong, but it's a 3060 Ti. It's a very expensive card, and it performs really well in other titles. And, well, in this one, it struggles a lot with ray tracing, at least. But this is the native resolution anyways, and uh, ray tracing is meant to be used with some upscaling technologies. So let's enable DLSS at 1080p to see if we can get a much smoother experience. Let's do quality here, yes. And okay, yeah, that's indeed the case. Frame time graph is much better now. Come on, come on, come on, let's kill this guy. All right, there we go. We got some, some things here. No, stop it. Oh, there are a ton of them now. No, 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 these things actually follow you around. I don't like that. I don't like that. Eat, buddy, eat. Thank you. Oh my god, it's stuttering again. <laughs> I mean, it never stopped stuttering, to be honest. That's very annoying. Really annoying. Come on, there we go. And this one is dead as well. All good here. Let's just destroy this thing. Okay, now look at the ray traced reflections. That's what I'm talking about. This game is absolutely gorgeous with or without ray tracing in terms of the lighting and reflections. Yeah, but, but of course it, it does look way better with ray tracing. You got all of that here. And you don't really get that without it enabled, so... Yeah, if you want those beautiful reflections, well, you can have it here as long as you enable the LSS. It's gonna be a smooth experience-ish. Smooth-ish. Here we go. 2560 by 1440 still using the high settings with ray tracing. 
and DLSS on quality and oh boy okay now we're dropping from 60 with DLSS at 1440p and it's dropping by a lot I really think that w without 60 FPS in this game you better just drop the settings honestly guys this is it becomes terrible basically with that frame time graph all over the place and the input lag it's not good there is a bit less input lag if I use the mouse, actually. And now we gained a few more FPS with balanced DLSS, but it still drops immensely. Holy crap! I guess if you want ray tracing, guys, you better just use the 1080p resolution, because otherwise you're screwed. It's just not very enjoyable with this frame time graph like that. I really w hope they fix that, guys. Damn! And of course, if you move to performance at 1440p, well, things become a little bit better in the 70s, but it starts looking a little bit soft. Although it doesn't look bad, you know? It's just a tiny bit soft. It's like you're using some uh, FXAA anti-aliasing, which doesn't really look that good. Um, right, let's just destroy that thing. Come on, there we go. This is probably just a, a more chill game, right? You walk around, you free some spirits and stuff. You kill some enemies that are not really scary whatsoever. <laughs> That's what I'm getting from this, at least. All right. Yeah, it's not, it's not too bad like this, but it still stutters quite a bit. And the reflections start looking a bit fuzzier, as well as the rain there at the distance, especially. Yeah. I, I wouldn't really choose this experience right here, honestly, guys. And of course, at 4K, it will only become worse. Okay, just for fun, 3840 by 2160 using some ray tracing, balanced DLSS as well, and... Alright, it's not too bad, 50s, but once again, it will stutter like hell if you are in the 50s. So yeah, I, I really think that you shouldn't play this game with ray tracing at 4K, unless you are into it for, for the visuals only, and you don't care about anything else. Stable performance, yeah, nah, that's not my thing, right? <laughs> High FPS as well, nah, who cares about that? Yeah, basically, 1440p, I think it's it's the best experience without ray tracing in this game. If you went ray tracing, 1080p, DLSS on quality, and it's gonna be great. Over here at 4K, it's just too inconsistent. We're in the 30s, frame time is all over the place. If I start counting the FPS, the 1% lows will be in the 20s, as you can see. Oh my god, that's terrible. I, I, I just don't know. What the hell is this? Why are we getting 7 FPS now? Well, yeah, v the RAM. The RAM is actually going up by a lot. So maybe we're out of VRAM, although we're not really at 8 gigabytes. So maybe this game can't really efficiently use the VRAM. I guess, yeah. We're just, this is terrible now. <laughs> Play at lower resolutions with ray tracing if you really like that. So that's been it. Thank you very much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll be back very soon with another one in this game. And as always, love you all. Bye bye.